If you're looking for the cheapest, and I mean cheapest coins out there to build your God Squad, head over to AOEAH.com. They are fast and reliable, and make sure you use Cold Wolf to get 3% off. Link is in the description. Welcome to another episode of Spectating Pros. This is actually Super Bowl gameplay. We're watching a guy, his name is Dub Dot. He was a pro player. I don't know if he's still a pro player. Someone clarify that in the comments. Someone that watches his streams. I don't know, but I know he was at one point. I think he was even either a champion or a belt winner. Something along the lines. I just know that he's a really good pro player. You're going to see the bunch meta probably uh, the 245 odd meta defense in this gameplay. He's playing Exalted Yield. Now, what we do in this series is we don't critique the pro player as we watch them. What we do is we look at the mistakes that the people he plays against make so we can try to better help you guys. Now, if you want access to the full uh, schemes that people use, the 335 wide, the, the, the bunch offset, Trey White Flex full schemes, they're in the member section. Uh, just click the link or hit the join button, become a member, and you get access to all that. So 245 odd, you're going to see him set up his personnel. My man's running doubles wide flex. That's not really a meta offense. So it looks like this is exalted Super Bowl, and they're going to put him up against the demon, and this is the double wide flex. So right off the rip, I can tell you his offensive personnel, Henry. So we're looking for inside zone, but you can shoot gaps out of 245 odd if you know how to set it up, which I'm going to provide for you guys in the member section as well. So the 245 odd that he's using in this gameplay, I'm going to drop four members this week. So be ready for that because it is coming. Uh, my man knows to run the ball on it. So that's interesting. So Exalted U knows you can actually, if you if the pro player or the user on defense cannot shoot the gap, then it's going to be very hard. Like right there, he can shoot the gap. You see what I'm saying? But a lot of times what I would do if I was exalted was I would come out in that inside zone and then flip it to the other side and try to just throw him off his user, force him to change his defenses. Now you see he's going under center, so he knows I need to run heavy. So if he passes out of this formation, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. Nice play. Because of the cover two, it's hard to pick up those screens, whether they be bubble screens or this right here is the stretch alert where you have the little bubble on the outside. When you're running that cover two, it's, a, it's difficult uh, to guard him. So, Right here, he probably should motion this guy from right to left. He's not, and he's going to go play action. You got to be careful because, like I said, uh, trying to play against this meta defense is hard, and he's missing his hit stick. So Exalted's not playing games right now. He's utilizing his running backs, and that's one thing. One piece of advice I can give you guys is to utilize your running backs. If you see how on his PA read, it's just a flat route. Well, you see what he actually did. He changed them to an in route. So use that with your running back in routes and then dump them off because user guys, people that are better at the game, they're looking for that crossing route. And he just threw a blind read against the cover two who he thought was going to be open. And I can tell you guys right now that Exalted's pass game is not up to par. So we need to do a lot of work. Uh, you're, what you need to do when you're facing someone like this is you have to see what that cloud flat is doing. You have to know how to manipulate that cloud and see that if he's not putting him on a blue or in man defense or something like that, just throwing it blind like that with uh, no route on the right side to force that cloud to come back down is going to get you cooked nine times out of ten because if the soft squad or the cloud flat is not threatening his zone, he's going to shift his priority all the way to the street. He's going to back up as far as he can. Sometimes in mana principles, the soft squads, he's just going to follow him. So he's running mid blitz, which is interesting because you can cook this from a bunch really easy, fairly easy. You're going to have slants. You're going to have all kinds of things open. He's got the A route right here on this mid post. And it's just going to be money. And if he presses against one of his better wide receivers and he gets that release, it's going to be a touchdown. So expect to see the streak here in a little bit. Uh, this may be he's running an older defense. You need to if you're in a Super Bowl, this is how it works. You see what I'm saying? Here's the streak that I was talking about. That's what that's my thinking. That's what I'm doing, too. I'm looking for the streak right over your head. Right when I said that, he that's exactly what he did. I think Exalted You is going to be out in his Super Bowl. There's just no way. He's going to quit this game right here. And I don't even know what he's saying because I have the sound off because it's going to just mix in with everything that I'm saying. But I can imagine he's saying, you ain't, you junk, you trash, bro. Get the hell off my field in your Super Bowl with mid blitz. Let's go ahead and get into another one. So here we are with the next game right after Exalted U just got thrown out of his own Super Bowl like Jazzy Jeff on Press, Fresh Prince, bro. That was just a really bad game for that guy. I'd imagine, you know, you make it to your Super Bowl and they make sure you face someone that's harder than you to make sure that you try your best to win it, you know? So he's playing against XSC. I don't know who the guy he is playing. Maybe some of you do. 
if you do let me know i would imagine these guys are high tiered so all right looks like we're coming to strong close man i just showed you guys a scheme out of this maybe he's gonna use something that i've shown you guys i don't know maybe he's gonna do work with that little scheme that i literally provided for you guys yesterday it's very good to use against this player right here i wonder why he's backing out i guess he's trying to shoot the gap hard but he's got someone coming off the edge man you gotta compensate for this two four five odd because there is a looping blitz man if you're not compensating man you gotta id the mic and stuff like that from left to right coming from the right side of this play don't play action either because if you pass commits they're going to ignore the play action they're coming straight for your head nice wheel route to his running back so green's gonna make up a lot of yards right here it was actually 14 yards that he gained off one pass play but i don't like the choice of plays that he's using man typically when you're gonna have to face someone this good using the meta stuff you're gonna have to come meta versus meta okay you can't send the nerd out there right with the sword trying to fight hercules right you're gonna need someone equivalent to do it you can't just be the nerd you know what i mean so it looks like he's baseline in his defense uh cover two press since you're playing tight formations he can press no one have to worry about it. it's actually helping him a lot more oh nice nice run by vic hopefully he's on conserving he doesn't fumble the ball so that was actually good uh moves by him so the strong close the wide trail you know what that play wasn't in the playbook that i showed you guys I may have to go over it again to implement the wide trail because it's actually a decent play, but this guy's ready for your nonsense, man. Strong close. I think you should have a bigger, stronger personnel if you're going to run this. Maybe the Derrick Henry. But nice read, bro. Nice reads by him on the quick slam on the left side because if he's sending pressure, the pro player is going to send the pressure at you. Is How are you going to react? How are you going to react to all that pressure and he's doing it properly by playing the slants and stuff like that. Why he's jetting so far back. He's trying to use a rush something late. Uh, I've never done that, but I guess you can. And my man XSC just got hung up by behind his own people. And that's just unfortunate. Uh, maybe he's going to motion out a receiver. He doesn't. Runs the ball up the middle anyway. Ooh, that was a good hit, man. I almost dropped the ball. Third and eight. Your people are probably fatigued. Your running back's definitely fatigued. He just got hit, rackling. You're doing a no huddle. Need to be careful whenever you do that, too. Give your players time to rest so they get yellow again. So back to the wheel route where he's running back, but now he's in a sticky situation. I would imagine he's going to look for the slant right here in this formation. So he's going table route, wheel route, actually. He's, he's changing that running back to a wheel route from his table route. Now I would imagine he's going to look for the slant play over the left side. I don't think he'll risk running the ball. But he's going to look for the slant. Got to be careful because, well, actually, you know, he may have it open unless he's manned up. No, he has it open if he wants it. Slant route from the left side. Should have ran the slant route. I think you cooked yourself by not throwing something quick and easy. You should really think about rolling out left instead of right. You kind of just cooked yourself. But the comeback. Oh, man, that's too bad. You could have rolled out left. You should have saw that the, the pressure was coming from the right. You chose to run right. Should have rolled out left and took your chance. You just needed one yard, man. A quick slant would have... You What you could have done was just go in an empty formation and ran quick slants. Okay, because that nickel 245 cannot guard all that. Matter of fact, you can run all hitch. There's a play from the empty formation. It's called all hitch. And if, unless he's manned up, they can't cover, cover all those hitch routes. And now he's sending the pressure, but... When you're playing someone that knows how to protect and all that, they're going to hit you up the seams. You got to be careful with your pressure. So let's see what he's running on defense. Nickel Dog Meg, interesting choice of defense, man, from the double A gap. So we're seeing back to back players running the double A gap, which is an older defense you really don't want to be caught using unless you're using it to stop the run. But I would imagine the wheel route right here from his running back. He's got it covered. He had nobody to go to, but he was able to get the pass off. Wasn't a sack. So mesh post. Remember that you, you, you'll see the other all pro players run that concept. I run it in my game plays as well because it's just an easy route to throw to your running back. So you're looking for the wheel route. If not, you're looking for like a drag or, a drag or out route from the opposite side of the field. So my man is seven, sending the heavy blitz consistently, which is not ideal because situations like this right here. Now he's at the one. He probably tried to go down, but he tried to dive into the end zone. Sometimes you fumble. Sometimes you fumble doing that. Go on normal. I would imagine maybe dive power. Oh, fullback, fullback dive something. If he does QB sneak, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be impressed. But this looks like the fullback dive. And 
he may have the defense for it. Pinching the line. Nope. He's actually going power O to the right. Here we go. Should be a touchdown, honestly. Oh, he did go full back dive. You should have went power O on that play right there. Would have been a touchdown. I see the alignment. I see how it works, right? Those contains are going to contain too far, and that power O is going to get right in between them. I would just go right back to the goal line power O, to be honest. I wouldn't come back in a single. But then again, like I said, we're not critiquing the pro player. He knows what he's doing. He's, he's going to score. But on defense, XSC is actually playing a really good run defense. What you want to do when you're playing man, you want to shade underneath and inside or outside. So it's like a compressed set like here. You want to shade outside when you shade underneath. So the stretch to the outside, you see that contain take off to the right. That's the contain I'm talking about. If you run power O against that contain, he'll get inside the contain. It's a free touchdown pretty much every single time. So if someone's running this QB contain and they have contain art, just run the power O. Now, my man has really good uh, defensive uh, or actually goal line defense, man. But let's just see how it plays out. You see that contain. Like I said, the contain is going too far out there and you can just run it right there. Typically, that's where power O goes. Power O probably would have got him the touchdown on the second play if he just ran power O against that defense. So be careful. If someone's running power O on you and you get the lucky stop and you're running contains, take your people off those contains because they will jet out to the side and they'll just cut inside for the easy touchdown. So XSC is already down to possession, running the strong close, not really uh, doing a lot of work versus the 245 odd. As you, you'll see that even under center, this 245 odd does do work. It is really good. Uh, I would imagine he's going to dial up the pressure a little bit more against him on this one since he knows he's got leverage. XSC is going to feel like he has to pass the ball. Tight formations, he can go to base, baseline. Baseline on his defense, so you'll see his corner still on the outside while his formation's tight. Works for you in, against these tight formations, so I recommend baselining and pressing versus tight formations so your outside thirds, quarters play the pass a lot better leaving him like no corner routes. You can't throw corner routes against a baseline press like this, especially if you're running something like cover four quarters and not, it's just not going to happen. This is why tight formations are something you don't really want to use as your base offense, unless it's like bunch, right? Because you have other routes that you can use, but these right here, he's relying on his wheel route. And I would imagine the pro player is just going to give it to him over and over uh, and then man him up and just try to throw him off his track while he sends pressure. So you're seeing a mixture of everything within this play. Now, the three buzz thing press is a play that I don't know why they're not using because there is a strong loop blitz out of that one. Look at the play art of three buzz thing press. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about when you see it. I'm going to show it to members in the member section how to run it and set it up properly because it's really good. It's got a really good looping blitz. But this guy, he's scared. XSC is playing very scared right now. He feels like he has to get out of the pocket. He feels pressured. And when you do that, all your your whole scheme is out of the window because now you're just worried about not getting sacked and when you start to play like that and that's a lot of pro that's a lot of problems for a lot of people is that they don't know how to react under pressure and that's one thing you need to practice nice out routes oh man that was close i was close on another fourth down man so the pressure's coming i would imagine nice read quick reads he's, he's giving them like the underneath stuff and he's making good decisions by hitting those quick routes. However, they will get punched, right? This guy will actually make the adjustment for him and you're gonna get cooked. So right here would be your tight end, running back. You had tight end, running back, maybe the tight end for a little bit more yards, but it is what it is. I actually like that, that play call right there because you had two routes getting wide open. Now you have two people coming at you and he's just dink and dunking, bro. And this is how you gotta do it. There's only 29 seconds left in the first half, so He's going to have to score a touchdown because if you go for three and you're giving someone with a powerful offense like this the ball back, you're always going to be down two possessions. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you give yourself enough chance to stay in the game and you need a touchdown. There's just no choice. Here comes the pressure. And the pressure's too strong. Got nobody open. He's only leaving him the dink and dunks. I'm telling you guys, he's, he's going to send pressure and play deep. Everything underneath you can have because it's only 24 seconds. So imagine his coaching adjustments on his cloud flats are going to go to 20, 25, right? 15. He's going to send pressure and guard the back of the field, give you everything underneath because look at the time. He's cool if you take three. Everything's all good. Doesn't need to work much harder than that. And there's the dink and dunk right there. You only got one timeout now that you got to well, actually. Well, he's calling timeout. Wait, what? Okay. Interesting. Oh, because it's fourth and four. All right, man, I'm I'm not looking at the screen in its totality. And my man with the strong close, 
He's just trying to get in field goal range, it looks like. Well, no, you know what? It's not going to happen. Going for it. This could be the game right here. This could be game. Let's see what he runs here. I wouldn't even... A table route would, would work right here. You have to pull that soft squat back and run the table route to the right. You're holding on to the ball too long. You threw it right in the traffic. All you had to do was get a first down, man. So we're seeing that XSC's decision-making is poor. And now he's not even playing defense properly. Luckily, he's got someone fast that can run it back with five seconds. So now he can take a chance and just take his field goal. Go up 10-0. Interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. So here's the problem with XSC right now. I'm going to tell you guys right now. His problem is he's saying bye to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> his problem is his decision making as far as he can't handle the pressure when you can't handle the pressure let me teach teach this to you guys let me show you how let me tell you how to lab against it you go into the two four five odd heavy blitz the defense right and then try to figure out routes against that pinch zone too so you see the soft squat right send everybody at yourself put some route combinations on the field find what works and then use that when you get into your game plays Someone runs that pinch two, right? And they send the pressure, run to your, your plays for that specific defense because it's the meta defense. You're As you win more games, you're going to face that defense. It's inevitable, okay? Because that's where all the high-tiered players are. Hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, video. Uh, pretty cool gameplays, I guess. Not really too much competition for the pro player. Make sure you guys drop a like. You want to see more, let me know in the comments. Love you guys, man. Peace.